Um, today we'll be teaching you how to get clownfish voice changer. Alright, so you want to go into Google. Um, FYI only works on, um, PC or play, I mean, no, yeah, just PC. So search up clownfish voice changer, like that. Alright, then go to the recent one that says clownfish voice changer, that one, the top one. Click on that. Now, go to where it says download, right there. So you're right here, Clownfish Voice Changer. Do not press start now. Press download up there. Okay, download. Oh, okay. It might pop you up with like some sort of ad. But um, if it does, just click X. And you want to download this version. Not any of this. Unless you know you have to download a different version. Because this one is the only one that works for me. So download that one. Um, whenever you want to download it, click it once. It should pop right down here. Um, grab it. Change it down. I mean, just like put it down like right, right here. It should say Clownfish Voice um, Changer uh, um, 6-4 and all of that. Just random text. Double click it. It should pop up with, um, oh, yeah, it should pop up with this. It says, welcome to Clown, Clownfish Voice Changer Setup Wizard. Press next, 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 and install. And then it will be installing in the back corner like this. And, um, it should, it should um, pop up with this. The Windows server is starting. Yeah, it should do all of that. And then whenever, and then it will go like this. You press next, and then you press finish. And, and then um, after that, um, it should make another copy. Like if it does not work, then click on it again. Might have to try it again, install. But um, if it does work, if it does work, it should it should pop up with um, something that looks like this. It should. It might and it might it might say like a bunch of warnings or something. So like right whenever you're right here, press next, then finish. Um, it might not work for me since I already have it. But yeah, whenever that's done, um, it should pop up with this right here. And then whenever it's that, you go, you double click on it, and it should turn it on. But if you want to change it, you double click on it again. It should pop up with this. You can turn it off. You can set it. And so um, right here, this will be the soundboard. But if you turn it off like this, look. If you turn it off. So now it's off and it won't get back in again because some this actually happened to me like it wouldn't let me um, turn it back on so it would just like stay there like if I double clicked on it nothing would happen so you would want to go all the way over to here this little this little um up arrow thing you click on it and then there should be like a little oh, shoot, wait, wait. yeah there should be like a little thing that looks like the logo, which um, is kind of blurry for me, but it should look like the logo, but darker. Double click on it, and it will turn back on, and then everything will work. So, yep, that's how to do it.